Sup, sup, everyone. Welcome to another video. And as always, late to the party, we are now here officially going to be talking about Nahida now that we know essentially what she does. C0. All right. C0, not even going to talk about her weapon because they never really told us what her weapon does. But with just about a week left to go before, all right, you're going to get tested by RNGs again. Let's take a look at this character because right now I do think we really have somebody special on our hands. Of course, she's special. She's a Dendro Archon. Now, what I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, if not like a month or so, is that right now it seems like the new characters, Sino, Nilu, and going forward, potentially Dehya, Alhaitham, all these characters seems to be leaning onto Nahida as some sort of crutch character. Now we only have one, so how are we going to do this? That's where I want to point your attention towards Nahida's burst skill. Now, now I don't know, usually, well, don't you talk about the elemental skill first? But no, right now, because I've talked so much about how Hoyoverse is now kind of funneling everybody towards Nahida, this is too important to pass up, okay? If you guys paid attention during the live stream, Nahida's burst skill has some conditions. Well, not conditions, but certain buffs, let's just say it like that, all right? Depending on what elemental characters you have on your team, not synergizing with it, but simply on your team, apparently you get different buffs. Now, here is the real kicker. The number of characters apparently in that element that you have on your team also further amplifies these effects, right? So for pyro it's that you increase the damage of her elemental skill proccing for electro you're increasing the frequency of her elemental skill being procced essentially you can kind of think of it as like lowering icd right like if you really think about it being able to have that reaction happen more frequently with electro characters that essentially means you're going to get more quick and aggravate etc stuff happening on the field extremely useful for yeah, you know who. And finally, for Hydro, you're going to be extending the duration of her burst skill. So these are the three elements that have synergies with Nahida. Well, I'm sorry, Cryo users, Cryo lovers, Geo, Animo. It just doesn't seem like Hoyoverse wants to leave much room for people to play these uh, other elements with Nahida. I mean, it's not a surprise, to be honest, that Hoyoverse is incentivizing so heavily towards these Dendro reaction specific elements. Now, here's the thing, right? Basically, if you're running Nahida, you want to pair her with one of these three elements, Electro, Pyro, Hydro, and you want at least probably two of them. I don't know if meta-wise, there's going to be teams that be like, oh, we just need one of them, but getting two of them really maximizes Nahida's efficiency. So now we have to start thinking, right? Like really get our heads running. When you play, for example, a team such as Sino, what are you going to do? A Sino Nahida team. Likely you need two electros. Let's talk about the premium team. Sino, Yaimiko, Kokomi, and then Nahida. The thing they never mentioned in the live stream was if I have two of the elements mentioned, right? I have two electro, one hydro. Do both of those effects take place? Meaning that I have shorter elemental skill reaction time. And as well, I have an extended field duration for her burst skill. Do these two buffs both get activated because I have a hydro and electro character? Or does the electro characters take precedence because I have two of them? Them, so it's a stronger of the two buffs this is an incredibly incredibly important detail that hey if you guys know the answer to this you feel free to leave it in the comments because at this point you know this is very very important stuff right this could actually make Nahida so much more busted. If these effects can stack, that means you can most at the same time have two effects running, one with the upgraded version and one with the base version. That would give us more synergistic uh, opportunities, especially with Pyro and Burning eventually being introduced maybe through future Pyro characters. Then this field can actually start offering us some really versatile ways to mix match teams considering we are locking out three elements in cryo geo and anemo now that we went over her burst skill we have to kind of zoom back zoom back talk about her elemental skill because 
I originally thought like, well, if Hoyovers wanted to be annoying, they could always put the Dendro application into her burst skill, meaning that you're going to have to figure out a way to balance energy regen on top of her elemental mastery scaling likely and whatever other stat that she requires to feel comfortable playing with. Like Raiden had the balance attack, electro damage and energy regen, similar situation, right? But thank the heavens they put the dendro application into her elemental skill now this elemental skill allows you to link enemies through her hold version i'm assuming that you see this little viewfinder thing that she does and she selects enemies and she marks them and through dendro reactions meaning like uh, quicken aggravate bloom and i'm assuming burning you can then proc the effects of that mark and do note that it seems that the marks do not go away once reactions have happened. In fact, you can do multiple reactions with these marks. So that's going to be insanely valuable. However, unfortunately, they did not give us the specific details. So for characters like Sino, who has unbelievable field time duration, does that Dendro mark stay for the entire duration of Sino's burst time? Now, if it does absolutely amazing i don't i am i would be speechless if that mark can last for more than like 15 seconds i don't need it to be 18 seconds like sino's burst 15 seconds if it can last up to 15 seconds that would be an incredible incredible skill like i would say that's gonna be even more busted than the burst skill because you can so simply apply it on the enemies i don't know if you can kind of take the viewfinder finder and swing it around like do a 360 and link everything or it has to be the ones that are inside the viewfinder so meaning they're enemies front behind on your sides you can't link all of them which i think that would be pretty balanced right like so you would ideally want to group enemies strategically then use the viewfinder link them as opposed to just open your viewfinder do a 360 mouse spin and link everything in the whole room and of course the range also matters and i believe she's also going to be quite vulnerable when she's in that uh, state so with a lack of spot for shielders in most of the teams available right now you're really going to have to maximize your efficiency when you have nahida on field you can't really be taking risky uh screenshots there of enemies when you aren't at a safe distance or not paying attention to threats around you i believe it could get really really annoying if you're trying to use your viewfinder and you get knocked once and then you stand up you try again you get knocked again and it's just a recipe for disaster at that point so of course now that we've talked about sino we have to talk about nilu i think nilu is going to absolutely love this because here's the thing i said nilu needed a dendro character that can apply dendro that's flexible meaning that if it's a range it has to be something like goro meaning that it follows the character around however holyverse just did us one better why follow your character when we can follow the enemies marking the enemies now you can do whatever the hell you want because you're going to be hitting enemies anyways as long as you have hydro then following up on the marked enemies you're going to be procking super bloom in a nilu team granted you fulfill those requirements absolutely big brain i was like well what if they just have a field that follows you around like goro what's the whole universe the flowers get on our level like that's some like that's some toddler level stuff look at this marking the enemies is a game changer and of course if Hoyverse wants Nahida to have any sort of relevant synergy with Sino, they have to make that mark um, somewhat long lasting which guess who also benefits from Nilu, of course. Nilu is a huge benefactor from such dendro applications on the enemies and I don't know how long the CD of this skill is if it ends up being a short duration but a moderate CD for example if it only lasts for like 7-8 seconds and it has like a 10 second CD Nilu is going to be a huge benefactor here so really Nahida can't lose in this situation. She is either going to be She's either going to be extremely good with Nilu or she's either going to be extremely good with Sino. Now, I would love for the skill to have a long duration and a relatively long cooldown, meaning like a 15 second duration with, I don't know, like a 12, 13 second cooldown, meaning you can have it as 100% uptime. But also knowing Hoyovers, they just might put that in a constellation or something, or they might have a low constellation saying like, oh, if you have reactions, then the duration of the marked enemies can increase to like, another two seconds and this caps out at i don't know like 25 seconds or something like that so as long as you continue to do reactions on marked enemies the marks refresh 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 and it goes up to 25 seconds and her skills cooldown likely starts at like 20 seconds and the skill uh, originally start at like i don't know 10 seconds or something like that so it's just 
I, I, I don't know what Hoyoverse has planned for the constellations. I just know that they're going to be really freaking alluring and it's going to make playing her feel so, so much better if you get her likely to a constellation too. That's what they did with Raiden and she topped the sales chart and why not just repeat what you already succeeded with, all right? So uh, as you guys can see, I'm scratching my head a little bit, like quite literally scratching my head a little bit because this character, I can see so much potential. Like I've just listed out a bunch of stuff. I know I'm rambling, but uh, please, comment down below what you guys think are you going to be pulling for her i'd assume a lot of you guys are and are you planning to pull for constellations if you guys know what's going on with constellations are you planning to pull for constellations are you pulling for a weapon who are you planning to play her with and how do you think she's going to revolutionize potentially burning and virgin comps because those comps right now are still in their infancy whereas you know nilu has started introducing uh, secondary level bloom comps sino i mean, we can aggravate teams aren't really known for with sino i guess kaching has already been revolutionizing that since uh, dendro's rival so yeah i'm extremely excited i'm definitely pulling for nahida I, th I think i want to go forward and have fun in uh, sumeru and with its new characters she's definitely a must pick up all right so with that said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one until then or just stay safe peace peace bye